Hey guys, uh, today is a new comic book holiday, and I also got some novels, so I'm gonna show all that stuff off. Alright guys, I'll start with my comics. Um, first up is Supergirl, issue number 35. I honestly am really far behind this one, so I have nothing to say about it. I need to catch up. Uh, Evil Empire. I love the covers on these every time. I love that they have everything blacked out on, on that. It's funny. Um, it's been an okay book. I may be in trade. I'll give you guys uh, a better rundown of it once I'm finished this series. Uh, Black Science number 9. Rook Remender. Always great. Um, pretty excited about this issue. Should be pretty good. Uh, Deadly Class issue number 8. Um... Shit, I'm trying to remember what happened in the last one. I cannot remember for the life of me, but I'm sure it'll come back to me once I start reading this. Uh, as always, colorful, bright, amazing covers. And Remender's writing is always great. Uh, next up, Nightcrawler, issue 7. This is a Death of the Wolverine um, tie-in. I haven't been reading Death of Wolverine. I was going to pick it up and trade, but, uh, you know, I'm sure it'll be good still. The series has been pretty decent. Loki, Agent of Asgard has been a really, really good book. And uh, issue 7, I'm sure, would be great as well. I think this will have a lot to do with the Axis stuff, which, again, I'm not reading that in single issues. I'll be reading that in trade, so we'll see once I get through this. Another Axis tie-in, Magneto, number 11. A amazing book. I love this cover, all the characters on it. Um, I guess, <laughs> again, another one that... I mean, I haven't. I'm gonna pick up Axis and Trade, but not in single issue because it's too much money to picking up events like that. Uh, Daredevil issue nine again with the Ghost Children. The last issue was really good, and it's exciting to see these creepy ass kids kind of like making people do things. It's it's interesting. Um, Miss Marvel number nine. This has been a really good book. Lockjaw. Is Okay, so once a year, my library, or the, our regional library, puts on a Friends of the Library sale, and they sell novels for a dollar a piece, and kids' books, I think, for 50 cents a piece, whatever, but um, I bought, like, 24 books or something. So let's, uh, let's take a look. Right, these are in no particular order. First up, I got um, Lois and Clark, a Superman novel. I saw it, thought it might be interesting to read. Something Happened by Joseph Heller. Uh, same guy that wrote Catch-22. Um, I still have yet to read that book as well, but I plan on it in the future. Um, Michael Ondonche in A Skin of a Lion. I read all of his books. He's a great writer. He did, uh, like, The English Patient, and uh, he's done a few other ones. Anyway, great writer. Uh, Stephen King, The Green Mile. I I haven't even seen the movie, so I'm actually excited to read the book and then see the movie afterwards, see how that goes. Uh, Lord of the Flies. I know this is one that we read, or at least we do in Canada, in school, but I didn't pay much attention in school, and I've actually wanted to read that book again. So uh, Next up is Limitless from the movie. Wanted to check it out, read the book. Next up, The Dying Animal by Philip Roth. Um... He is a really great writer, someone that I actually enjoy reading quite a bit. Uh, next up is The Kite Runner by Khaled Hosseini. Um, there's a movie out about it, and I, I like to check out the books before the movies. Uh, Life of Pi. Again, everyone knows what that is if you've seen the movies and whatever. Um, John Irving, The World According to Garp. This is one of my favorite novels. My last copy of it got... I lent it to somebody and I never got it back, so bought a new one. Uh, next up is uh, Robinson Crusoe, um, a classic I've always wanted to read, so I picked it up. Uh, Jamrax Menagerie. Um, I've heard really good things about this, and I've always wanted to read it, so decided it was time. All right, next up from this side. Hardcovers, uh, Stephen King from a book eight. 
one of those Stephen King novels I've actually wanted to read. I'm not a huge fan of him, but um, he does have a few that I enjoy. I like the, the Dark Tower series and whatnot, so if you're going to check that out. Uh, next up, uh, Jerry Seinfeld, Sign Language. I just thought it would be a fun random read, so I picked it up. It's a dollar, so. Uh, next up, Freedom, a novel by Jonathan Franzen. I've heard good things about it, so I figured I'd pick it up and read it. Um, Cosmopolis. Tried watching the movie, could not get through it, but I've heard that it's actually good. So I figured I'd read the book instead because you know, I can picture it better in my head that way. Um, this is a random manga comic that I found in there called Manga Messiah. I think it has to do with like Jesus and stuff. I don't know really. I think it based on the Bible or something. I just found it there and figured I'd check it out. <laughs> just something random. Uh, went through the kids' books. There's not much for superheroes or comic books or anything in there, so found this random Superman one. I'll probably give it to my nieces and nephews, because they'll enjoy reading that, and a Garfield one for them as well. It's actually kind of cool art to it, the way they did it. It's all, um, it's like weird art like that. Anyway, I thought the kids would like it. Uh, next up, random Simpsons comic, Belly Buster. Figured, I haven't read any Simpsons stuff and I saw this so I figured I'd check it out. For 50 cents, you can't go wrong. A little battered and bruised, but whatever. And I found the first Treasury for Herman. Um, I've always enjoyed these comics, so I figured I'd pick up this. I'm pretty excited to read that. Um, this book called How to Draw and Sell Comic Strips. Um, saw it and I figured I'd check it out. It's just, it kind of goes over, you know, how you should set up a comic and that kind of thing. I thought it'd be an interesting read, so I picked it up. And lastly is um, Cartooning Basics is something I like to draw in cartooning style and whenever I get the chance to see books like this I usually pick them up and, and try out, see what kind of different ideas I can come up with in my drawing, so yeah. Um, that's all I picked up, and thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Oh, please like, comment, and subscribe, please. I do, uh, I do love it when you guys comment, as I say in every video, and I appreciate the feedback and, and conversation that comes with it. So, uh, again, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.